Good YouTube, I'm back again today with a shoulders, legs and arms workout. I started the workout off with seated leg press, back on the old one, back on the harder one. Did a total of 5-6 to six sets, anything between 12 and 15 reps. Started off with just a plate and built up to doing 4 plates. I didn't go to 5. I thought 5 plates was a little bit heavy. This, I'm not going to lie, is probably the hardest leg press I've ever used. I've, and the metal weighs about 50-60 pounds. And with the angle of it, it's so difficult and it's really hard to go heavy on. Compared to the other leg press where I can do 650, 700 pounds, this one, anything past 400 pounds is really, really hard. At least it is for me, and it's one of the most hardest leg presses I've ever used, to be honest. Then I moved on to hammer strength shoulder press, did a total again of 4 to 5 sets, anything between 12 and 20 reps, keeping constant tension on my shoulder muscles, working my triceps too, obviously. Probably my favourite exercise for, uh, variation of a shoulder press, to be honest. A dumbbell shoulder press, I don't really feel it with this. I get a really good, nice squeeze and pump right behind my shoulders, right behind my neck too. It's a great exercise. Then I moved on to a variation of a hammer. Uh, it's like a shoulder press machine type of thing. Uh, I can you can go pretty heavy on it. I did a total of five, six sets. Again, it was pretty high reps, 15 to 20 reps. Uh, it's not an exercise I'd advise to go too heavy on just in case you injure yourself, but it's nice to throw in now and again just to change it up, to be honest. It's different from doing dumbbells, and it's one that I would recommend you doing just to try something different then i moved on to ha seated hamstring curls again around probably about six sets on this about and as low as eight and as high as about 17 18 reps nice feel it in my hamstrings uh, there you can use the different variation of hamstring uh, machines to be honest this one's probably my favorite just gotta be careful with your knee pads well not your knee what me on about my knee pad your knee caps just in case they rub against the machine so i wouldn't advise going too heavy on it but it's one that uh, i enjoy and it's one that i'll keep doing then i moved on to doing some abs did two sets first set i'm nearly there got about 24 three reps then in second set uh, I got about 15, 16 reps. I want to get my reps up more, a little bit more, though, to be honest. It's probably my favourite ab exercise, probably the most productive one, in my opinion, but everyone's different, I guess. It's just one that I like the most. And then I uh, finished off on some arms. Now, I've kept arms in purposely here. Uh, just to show you exactly what I do, because I know it is a bit different and it looks like my form's a bit uh, dodgy. It's just how I feel it, to be honest. I like doing sometimes 40 50 60 even 100 reps on arms especially with the rope it's probably my favorite and most beneficial tricep exercise in terms of really pumping my arms up and getting a nice good feel and weirdly enough when i do loads of reps i get stronger on exercises i know it doesn't make a lot of sense but for me it's just what works to be honest i mean it, with the bar i don't get the same feeling with the rope it's just fantastic especially with my triceps then i burnt out and did so i think it was about three or four sets of anything from about 40 50 reps finishing on over at extensions and that was my workout for today i uh, hope you enjoyed it as per usual like comment share subscribe and i will be back tomorrow with another workout video thanks for the support